Hi, I'm Ellen Lustig. I'm an artist and I have been an artist all my life. I have been involved with all kinds of different uh, sculpturing, painting, caricaturing, and right now I've taken all that knowledge and culminated it to be a puppet maker. And this came about from a trip that I took to Cuba. I was in a contemporary art museum and I was looking at a sculpture of a, a wooden theater and there happened to be a rabbi who was on my trip standing next to me saying, boy, I'd love something like this for my synagogue for the school. And I, I said, well, I, I'm sure I can make that happen. So when we got back, I took uh, the liberty of putting a proposal together and doing some sketches and trying to figure out how I could recreate what we saw, but not out of wood. I was never a wood carver. So when we met, he had mentioned maybe that I would make fabric puppets for this theater, for, for, this, for the school. So as soon as I left, thinking of all the ideas of what we talked about, I had a, a brainstorm that I would make caricature sculpted puppets with fabric bodies. So I proceeded to create just that. The first step in the process of making my caricature puppets is to do research on the internet. I do a Google image search and here I used Marc Chagall and came up with only a couple pictures. I used these two pictures and analyzed his face. I decided his face was in the shape of an inverted triangle. As you can see, it's very wide at the top, very narrow at the bottom. So after analyzing this and deciding what I will exaggerate, I decided to make his eyes a lot smaller than they are. I did a sketch so I can see frontal view. And then, of course, since sculpture is in the round, I needed to do side view or three-quarter view to get a full round idea of what this sculpture will look like. I take the inverted cone form and the cylindrical form and I weld them together to start the head. I then add and subtract clay forming the head and all the features that I, that I have drawn in the sketch. I don't use my tools until the very end where I need to get more details. Everything's done at this point with my fingers. In the following pictures, you'll see the progression of the head becoming more and more refined, more details, because at the, in the very end product, I have to make sure there are no flaws because everything will be picked up in the casting. It's very sensitive. Uh, the plaster will show any kind of marks or anything that I don't want, so I have to go over it very carefully. The process is pretty elaborate to uh, create these puppets. This is my Bob Dylan. He's got his harmonica that actually works and his guitar. And this is Emma Lazarus. For those who don't know who she is, she wrote the poem that's on the Statue of Liberty. Hence, I have her with her statue, uh, statue of Liberty crown. So after I sculpted this head, I, I put the head in a container, and I will show you basically with the hand on a smaller scale, because all the hands that I make on the puppets are also sculpted and cast in latex. So what I do is I use my hands and I and I sculpt the hand and we'll have to pretend for purposes of time that this is, this is my finished hand product. I put the hand in a container and then I mix water and plaster till it's a creamy liquid and pour that over the hand. I wait a day and the next day I will be taking something out of this cup this is what it will look like after the plaster is poured and set. I take it out of this container and I will dig the clay 
this, this clay hand that's in here, I will just dig it out piece by piece until all the clay is, has come out. I'll then take my latex, this is the same latex they use to make masks, and I will pour this latex into the mold. It's liquid. I'll leave it there for half an hour, 45 minutes, and pour it out again. This way, the hand will be not solid, but will be a shell and have, have uh, a hole in it so you can put your fingers in it. Then I wait another day for that to set, and I pull out the latex hand. So after I have the finished hand, you can see it's rubber and there's a hole in it for to put your fingers through. I then paint it with the latex paint. And when that's dry, I take a matte medium and I cover that over the latex to protect it from peeling off. The next step is to create the costume, which I do on this sewing machine. And then I glue it and sew it all together. And the result is a hand puppet. Here's Bob Dylan. Ha <laughs> <laughs>